Hey everybody, so what we have here is a, what I'm told is a new old stock CTX VL510 color CRT monitor. So one of my friends, Sean, reached out to me and said that uh, he knew someone who was getting rid of a old monitor and he wanted to know if I wanted it. Well, of course I did because I certainly needed it, but <laughs> I couldn't pass up the experience of a new old stock CRT monitor. I mean, just imagine when you're moving one of these things, very seldomly do you have the box it came in with all the packing and whatnot. And the fact that it supposedly is new in here. Uh, from what he told me, this duct tape on here, it was just put back on to seal the top, but the contents were never removed. They just opened it to make sure that the contents were still in there instead of just being filled with trash or something else. So we're gonna open this guy up. We're gonna check it out. So just a little background from what I know about this from some quick looking up. Uh, this model from what I can find was made roughly 2002. So it would make kind of towards the end of the line for CRT monitors. VGA connector on the back. Uh, I'm not sure if it's attached or detachable. We'll find that out. Uh, minimum resolution 800 by 600 and maximum 1024 by 768. Somewhere around there. We will, I will confirm that right here down below. And you know what? Let's let's open it. So again, this is quite the treat to get to open up one of these. I mean, I haven't opened a new monitor since oh quite a while. I think the last actual new display I got was probably. Well, new as in new CRT display it was probably with the Sony VAIO that I bought in, well, that I got back in 1998. And at that point, that display was just a WAF brand, but CompUSA branded white 15 inch monitor. So this is more than exciting to take a look in here. Oh, it does look very new. All right, I'm going to tip the box for you guys to check this out. Look at that. That looks oh so new just yes all right so there's the little foot pedestal we'll take that off and there's there's a monitor itself so i gotta imagine this is new old stock and they removed i mean most people would not go through the time to rewrap the monitor in the plastic before putting it back in the styrofoam they could in theory but i highly doubt it so let's let's get this guy out of here i'm gonna see if i can slide them out so you guys can see. I'm gonna move this foot thing one more time just so I don't drop it on the floor. All right, let's see if we can get this out without dropping anything. Mm, maybe not. All right, you know what, let's try. It's, it's, it's well packed right now. We'll, lift, we'll drop it out, so to speak. Oh, there we go. Look at that. In the styrofoam. Let's get it out of the styrofoam. Nope, oh, actually some stuff fell out. What fell out? Ooh. The quick guide in plastic. This CD is stuck in here, quite literally. Let's see if we can get that out real quick. Yeah, there it is, look at that. CTX user's manual on disc. Very nice. Warranty and uh, yeah, warranty card. There's one. Oh, it's so new. Oh, so gently. How can I get the plastic off? I don't, uh, don't want to. There we go. Spin it. A little bit of tape holding it on. Okay, there we go. It's off. It's off. Spin it this way. Is the foot? Looks like the plastic's yellowed on us lately. That little piece right in there. But how did it yellow in the box? Could plastic such nat just naturally yellow? It's possible. Now, with all the little vent holes, it's actually kind of hard to tell which vent holes are the right ones, but you can kind of see it. One, two, 
and his little clip. Usually these clip things went on the back. Very gently. Anyway. All right, so we'll move the bags out of the way. It's sitting on the foot, so I think we're in a good enough spot for now. Let's get this guy. Let's check it out. All right, so we got it plugged in for power. Turn it on. No smoke, just normal crackles. All right, so I got my laptop good to go. Let's plug this in. Of course, I have to use a HDMI to VGA converter, so hopefully this works all right. This laptop only has HDMI out. And let's see what we got. I saw flashing. Well, it's trying to do something. Kind of going back and forth. So it looks like my Linux laptop does not play well with this monitor for some reason. It's flashing back and forth. I'm not really sure why, because the menu also displays flashing on the screen back and forth. So I can't catch it enough to make it stop doing that. So I'll have to find something else to test this with. All right, so we're back. <laughs> so I got this Dell computer that I had on the shelf back there. Actually, I don't think I've ever turned this Dell on. I got this from uh, somebody a year or two ago with a bunch of uh, Windows XP error game software. And so he, I actually went just for the software. He, a few bags full, I think I did a video on that. And the guy gave me this machine too. He said, oh, I used to run all the computer, all that software on this machine. So yeah, let's see, let's see what it's got. Let's see if it turns on. It's hard to see in this orientation, but these are the ones that when they're standing upright, they kind of look like Xbox 360s a little bit. Hey, look at that. All right. I'm turn it to me. Uh, let's see, run setup in Val. I'm guessing it probably needs a clock battery. Um, the screen's clear. Um, I know you see in the flickering in the camera, but it looks pretty clear to me in person. And there we go, Windows XP. So now we'll give this a minute to boot, hopefully not too long. Hey, no password, as typical XP machines are. And I didn't plug speakers in, so it must have an internal speaker. So it does look beautiful. Um, I don't think looking at it through the camera is really doing it justice. I got this glare right here. I can't relocate the lights right now. So I'm gonna do best we can here to use this. So everything seems to be loaded up on here. Uh, we'll just see what this computer has in it for specs. Oh, actually, it's got more than the sticker said. So it is, it is a 2.67 gigahertz. It's actually got a gig of RAM in here. It is a Pentium 4 running at 2.666 gigahertz. No name. And let's see what device managers, any, what devices are in here via the device manager. A couple of network adapters. I think I, think I saw an antenna sticking off the back of this. So it looks like it does have some kind of wireless built into it. Well, you know, built in now. And let's see what kind of video card that is on there. Ooh, wrong one. All right, Radeon 7500. Best I can tell. I'm not sure exactly if there's a, another model number for that, but if I can find the info, I'll put it below. Yeah, this, this display looks really nice on here with this computer. All right, so again, this was a CTX VL510 CRT color display. Really nice new old stock display. It looks really good. Um, I don't know what else to really say about it. Just, it looks nice on here. So I'll have to play with that some more. Uh, this XP machine, uh, I'm excited kind of as a bonus to see that it works and I'll have to check that out just a little more and see what we can do with that. But guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.